Hey guys, it's Brendan the Paleo Dude. I'm back with an exciting video. I'm sorry about the bird and the lawnmower in the background. I'm doing it outside in the afternoon, so uh, everyone's gonna be out making noise. But I'm here with a very interesting um, theme. Um, recently, these Kinder Surprise eggs came out here in Canada. Uh, I don't believe they're in the States yet, but I do know that the Gaming Beaver did a similar video. Um, I actually got inspiration from seeing that one and finding these eggs. Um, so I'm going to be doing what he did, and I'll be eating these until I complete the set. So again, I've got, what, 29, um, so hopefully I complete the set in this video, and hopefully I can stomach all this chocolate. <laughs> so let's dig in. Um, I have a very crushed, sad-looking set. You can see they're all dented, all bashed up. And then these two nice sets. Um, I found these out in Princeton, this small town here in uh, British Columbia. And the boxes are pristine, but the eggs cost me $2 each. Um, this one I found at Walmart, and it, the eggs cost me a dollar something each, and the box is busted. Super busted. But if you guys want me to do a giveaway with some of the doubles that I pull, um, I will highly consider that. I definitely want to do a giveaway here on YouTube, so maybe I'll keep that in mind. So let's start with the better looking eggs. Um, there's four. So far, what I've seen, four um, variants, the Triceratops, uh, Apatosaurus, Stygmolic, and Blue, but um, I don't think the Apatosaurus is a part of this lineup. Um, same with the Stygmolic, but hey, it's, it's box art. Um, so we'll be, yeah, we'll just be digging in now. Um, Kinder Surprise is actually one of my favorite chocolates, so I'm actually really glad that it, you know, is Kinder Surprise and nothing else, because this is like a dream come true, eating this much chocolate, or getting a reason to buy this many Kinder Surprise. Oh no, I left it out in the sun. They're a little, um, what's the word? Squishy. So here we have the Moza. It comes in um, two pieces. And look, the eyes painted, whoa. I'll stick that on. Hmm. Comes with like a little peg in this little hole. So we'll put that in there. Kind of, hopefully, maybe. There we go, it kind of fits with the um, the flipper in there. We'll actually just put all the chocolate in this bowl so we can speed through the eggs. And there's an ant in the bowl. That's very wonderful. See him in there? So we'll get that guy out. And on the back it has blue in a forest with snow. Reminds me very much of Canada. Same with the box art too, if you take a look. There's mountains in the background with snow, there's pine trees. A very different look than what we know on Isla Nublar. Um, so that's interesting that they've got the, um, I'm assuming Dominion type art style. I know it says just Jurassic World on there, but that's pretty interesting. So we'll move on. We'll do this one. And we have the T-Rex, okay. Thinking that one's a little bit more rare compared to the rest. And let's see if it still has that blue on the back. Yes, it does. So the Rex is also in two pieces. And you just slot those in like that. I love that position, that's pretty cool. They even got the inside of the mouth painted with like a pink. And the teeth are actually really done well as well. Like it's also got this Kinder Surprise logo on the thigh, kind of reminiscent of um, what they did with um, the original Kenner figures, which is neat. And from what I believe, these these stands make like an egg. So we'll have to try that out once we get the set, if we get the set. Slip that out. 
and Dimorphodon or Pteranodon? Which one? Wait, where's the head? Oh, I think I see the head in there. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so it's two pieces as well. And the head's kind of like molded into the wing. That's why I kind of didn't see it. It was a weird angle. That's pretty cool. So we'll put that on there. And attach that. Now the wings have this nice bit of paint as well. So it gives it like more than just, you know, a bland sort of gray paint job. And that kind of looks like um, the one on the front of the box, like with, with the similar colors. I can see where they're coming from with the pattern and everything. So up next. We're just harvesting the chocolate at this point. <laughs> and is it our first double or is it the Dimorphodon? Interesting, as we did not see it in um, Fallen Kingdom. So let's see how to put this one together. I like that pose. That's a really interesting pose. This might be a... Uh, even better for Mattel photography because of the uh, scale. It's got eye paint, teeth paint, inner mouth paint, no body paint, but you can see the tail is a kind of a attached to the back of the wing there. I wonder if I can get the whole set without getting a duplicate. Let's see if I can get that lucky. Um... Ooh, we're getting close. There's eight in the lineup, and we have five right now. There we go. So now we have the Brachiosaurus looking very adorable. Look at that stance. So cute. Oh. Is this like a game? You slide it, and if it falls over, it you lose, and if it stays up, you don't. Was that on the rest of them? Oh my gosh, it is. See, so the game is you slide them. I mean, I kind of get it because it's like round shape and they have to kind of implement some sort of play to each little toy. Oh, that's so cute. The tail is very stubby in comparison to the head. Um, you can see how tiny the head is. They barely fit the eye on there. But just look at the end of the tail. Is it meant to be like that? I gotta fish that out. This photo says it's got a stub tail, but on this image, it's got a normal tail. Did they like melt it down last second to make sure it wasn't too spiky? Very odd. Okay, we'll move on to the next. So I think, what do we have left? Triceratops and Stegosaurus and something else, blue. Yeah, I can't forget about blue. So we have three left, come on. Oh, it's another T-Rex. Our streak has been broken. So we'll touch that. These might make for um, somewhat decent repaints. Um, I assume that... I haven't actually seen any, but I assume that a few collectors might attempt to repaint these once they get their hands on them. I wonder if I could melt down the chocolate and make, like, make something. And we've got another Pteranodon. Wow, okay. We're, um... We're now into the hoping to get a figure because we're almost we're almost at the end of the first box with one more left. But we still have quite a few left, so we'll continue on. And I'm hoping if I can pull enough of the figures to complete the line before I'm done, I can maybe do an Instagram live about unboxing these. So next, another Mosasaurus. 
and uh, I like this second color pattern. Like, um, I think it's not a paint. It's it's just a different plastic that they've attached onto it. Um, but the paint's a little bit more realistic than say the um, the toy monster. What are they called? You know the ones, the ones I did the last videos on. But hey, I completed that lineup. I don't have to go through the nightmare of buying countless of them just to complete it. Um, but I think now, oh, ooh, we got a new one. Okay. Um, but now I'm uh, having to buy them for friends down in the states because looks like they still haven't come out there. This one's giving me major, and I mean major, Lost World vibes. Holy cow, there's a lot of small parts on this one, and I'm loving that these neck plates are painted. That's great. They might be a separate plastic, though. They're not just the same body color, which would be lazy. Like the back spikes. <laughs> one of them is highly off. Okay, but look at that. That, from a side view, that is beautiful. That is amazing. Great for mini photography. Love the detail. I'm going to have to hopefully get more of these, because that looks really good. They've even got the back toes and the front ones kind of done well, unlike the brachio tail. Okay, so we'll set these guys off to the side and we'll have the devil's file right here. So now all we need is blue and triceratops. Our egg pile is starting to grow. Okay, so there we go. Another set of eggs. Another Rex. You can eat that into the bin. Slap that together. I wonder if I could customize this and make it like a Spinosaurus or Indominus. That might be interesting. A very small custom. So, let's go with this guy now. Our egg pile is getting really high, so we might need another bull. Come on, blue. Come on, triceratops. Another brachio. Darn. So we're going to connect the body. Slap it on here. I wonder if each one of these egg puzzle pieces is like the same shape, and you can make an egg with any amount of them, or do you have to have the complete lineup to make the full egg. Um, we can probably test that out at the end of the video. And another brachio. Yikes. Put this chocolate down. Should have put them like in the fridge or something. Yikes. So let's hope this one is blue or the triceratops. And, um, like shown on the Gaming Beavers video, there's apparently two other ones, um, Sinoceratops and Parasaurolophus, but, um, oh yes, we got the trike, but they're not here in Canada, so I wonder where they're coming out, if they are coming out, or if that was like a prototype leak or something. So here's, oh, it's beautiful, it's this kind of whitish color. And all of the horns are painted, the beak is painted. I think, yeah, the, the little spikes around the head are painted. That's a lot of detail. Like, this is more detail than the, um, the last lineup of Jurassic World Kinder Surprise that we got, the ones with the skeleton. Like, this is phenomenal amounts of just, wow. Just, like, you know, for a small figure, that's a lot of effort. And I love the detailing on the body, too. They did a good job on that. Okay, one more. Oh, I didn't finish this bracky. Whoops. So adorable, look at that. I can make my own mini Jurassic Park with these. Tiny diorama. Oh, that came off easy. Thank you. And it's blue. We have finally completed the lineup. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, let's put blue together. 
Whoa, Blue's got a long tail with some weird notches in it. And it ends in a tip similar to the Brachio. I don't know why they couldn't do it like the Rex. Like, look how pointy the Rex is. Very odd, maybe it wouldn't have fit in the egg or something. Who knows? But there is Blue. Blue's kind of like this opaque-ish um, white. The blue marking. I don't know what's going on. Like there's a bit there and then it like ends at the neck. If it's supposed to look like that. Let's take another peek at the paper. Yeah, I think it's meant to be like that. Okay. So there is the lineup. So it took us, um, it's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 eggs to get these. Um, wait, wait. 13, 14 eggs to get these. So that's that's pretty good, actually. So we didn't have to get around two times, but, you know, we still have all these eggs left over. Um, I think I'll do a live video on Instagram, actually, just kind of spice things up. Um, I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me open the last couple eggs. <laughs> Maybe you do. But, um, what was I saying? There's something I wanted to discuss at the end. It's slipping my mind. Oh yeah, the, we're, we're making the ball. That's right. Okay. So let's, let's make this. So I think... I don't know if there's, like, instructions on how to do this. Wow, this is super complicated. Um... Okay, so I think it goes like this, maybe, maybe not. 2B1D, do I have to, 2D, 2B, 1D. There's no instructions on the uh, packaging. Maybe uh, this goes with this? Oh, at this point, it's just going to be a video about me struggling to put together a kid's toy. I'm sure this... okay. Hmm. Um, let's see what else we've got. 1B, 1D. Maybe these fit together. Oh? Come on, please. Please. Are you kidding me? This kind of fits. How's this kind of fit, but not fully fit? Does this fit? Yes, it does. It doesn't. What? It doesn't? Okay. Oh, this is, this is interesting. So we've got 2A, 1B, 1D, 2B. 2A. A1. Maybe A1 and 1A and 2A, maybe? Yes! Okay, we did it. <laughs> I'm not just crazy. Okay, so it's 1A, 2A. Is there a 3A? 2C. B. Oh, A, B, C, D. Oh, I get it, okay. So, let's connect the A's. So this is like the starting point, this is our guide. Oh, the egg doesn't stay together. Oh, yikes, okay. So now it says B. So we got B1. B2. It's kind of, I guess, is it ironic that we're building an egg from a, from an egg? How are we supposed to do this if it keeps falling apart? Oh, holy cow, okay. The bottom just came out, so how are we going to do this? Oh goodness, oh jeez, 
so they connect from the outside. So we'll just kind of hold it from the outside. Do I do I have to build it like from the bottom up? Maybe? Are you kidding me? No. Okay, okay. We we're, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. So there. I'll cradle it like that. Yikes. Okay, so what do we got next? D and C. So 2D. 1D. One D, um, what is this? Two D, two D, are you kidding me? We're missing two pieces. Are we missing two pieces? We're missing a piece. Or, I think we're missing two pieces? Okay, so I'm assuming um, the two pieces we're missing, the top and the side, are the Parasaurolophus and the Sinoceratops. Unless it's completely randomized, which I wouldn't think because we just got all these pieces from the main set. Um, so I'm not going to go looking for the, uh, you know, the missing pieces from all these extras. But if you get the main set, you can kind of make an egg. Um, yeah, kind of make an egg. So that's, that's pretty neat that they have that gimmick, even though it's, um, you know, not, not complete because you know, we're missing the uh, the two two dinosaurs, and another thing is some of the dinosaurs can't stand on their own because they have that that extra peg, so they're a little bit dependent on the egg to stand, which is kind of sad. But cool gimmick, like that they slide. I think that's cheap for the Moza. It's never gonna fall over, <laughs> but the rest of them like. Oh, wow, it almost fell over. That's pretty cute. I like that they did that. I think that T-Rex falls over every time. Kinda. Yeah, so it's it's hard to play the game, but I, regardless, that's, that's cute that they implemented that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video, and um, be sure to look out for my next few videos. <laughs> Um, and look out for a giveaway, because I definitely don't need this many doubles, so if you guys want a chance to win some of these, or some of the ones yet to be opened, keep an eye out for that, and let me know down in the comments section if you'd like me to do a giveaway on here. Um, again, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.